What's up everybody, it's Jack and Dan. And today we're finishing off our tank series with our top tank. Yeah, we did a little series of videos, uh, kind of redid a lot of these four um, you know, tanks up here on our, on our rack, my office rack here, glass rack, beta rack, pothos rack, whatever you want to call it, it's our rack, right? And we did a video kind of on the guppies on the bottom and how they were doing after a few months. We got a new beta named Logan, named him after Wolverine, right? Yeah. A totally awesome guy. And then we have this really cool, super awesome, you can see him zipping around there. We got a red panda barb that was kind of a bully. He's kind of just by himself. <laughs> yeah, nobody, he didn't get along with anybody. Somebody returned him actually to the store. We told that story in that video. Uh, all these videos will be linked in our aquarium playlist uh, down below, by the way. But uh, he's doing really good by himself. Just got some snails to hang out with and stuff and seems to like the attention comes to the front. You can see him right there kind of hanging out since we're here. And uh, in this tank, though, we got some really cool guys. We, we, we were debating on what to do with this tank for a while after Wade died. Wade Wilson, of course, was our red beta we named after Deadpool. And uh, he passed away. He was a couple years old, right? He was cool, yeah. He was super cool. And we decided to get some really neat guys in here. What did we get put in here, man? We got the Sudamoogle put in there. Yeah, we got some Sudamoogle... And there's about 16 different like species or variations of these. They're rainbow fish. Where do they come from again? Uh, like the Australia, uh, New Guinea region. Right. Yeah, like rivers and streams. Yeah, that's where every, and everything comes from. <laughs> A lot of tropical fish do. And these guys aren't really dwarf um, rainbow fish, but they're really more... Some people refer to them as um, kind of like nano rainbow fish because rainbow fish get quite big. And there already are dwarf rainbow fish, and these guys are a little different. So they're called Pseudomoogles. And the gentleman that reproduced some of these for us gave us a really good deal on them. And he said they were the Gertrude version, which are like the blue spotted ones. Now, they're only a couple months old. We got them very, very young, so we waited a while to do this video. We've had them for about two months. We're going to turn this around so you can take a look at it. If you want to see what they look like in the adult version, first of all, Daniel Keeping Fish, I got a shirt on here, don't I? Yes. Daniel Keeping Fish, one of our good friends, did an amazing uh, species profile on this. Really good video. We'll link in the description. And also another uh, really, really awesome guy. I totally forget the name of his channel. Um, got a brain fart for a second there. Depths Unknown. Fantastic channel. Um, not a very big channel. Doesn't put out a lot of videos, but when he does, they're really, really, really good. He got some of the best, most amazing... Footage. He must have a really good like 4K micro camera because he got Something. like really good footage of like uh, an egg of a fish. Well, really the cool. eggs and the breeding and That's the males cool. kind of sparring and really good close Very up good slow motion. I feel yeah. like he deserves more subscribers. Yeah, we're gonna put a link in the description. He's actually very close to a thousand. So check that video out if you want to see Very some good quality awesome. Stuff. Yes, cool. check it out. Check out his channel. And give him a subscriber because he, he needs to get, he should have way more than he has. Does an, an amazing job. Yeah, cool. If you want to see more about this fish, we're going to flip this around though. We're going to show you some of the changes that we made to this tank since Wade passed away. It's just we put these guys in here and we'll kind of show you what they look like. All right. So we've had this tank quite a few years. And again, we've done a series of videos on it. We do updates on it, but we kind of changed the whole thing around. So with this one, we have the awesome guppies down here in the beach tank. They're doing fantastic. Did a bunch of videos on them. Here's Logan over here. Oh, there he comes. He's coming out. Really, really, really cool looking. Yellow. Um, just a regular kind of beta splendens. Has some blue in them, so he named them after, you know, Logan, Wolverine, one of our favorites. Just put some food in there, and he's kind of going around eating there. And then here's Rocket, of course. Really getting less and less shy. He's a red um, panda barb. Really, really cool. Again, he had some problems kind of finding a home because he was pretty aggressive with everybody else. So he didn't get along with anybody. They brought him back to the fish store. We said, hey, we'll give him a tank of his own. And this is, a, this is not a huge tank. It's like a, it's kind of like a, one of these little uh, like six, seven gallon deals. But it's big enough for him. And he swims around a lot. And he does come up to the front a lot. And he's doing awesome. We named him Rocket because we love Rocket, right? Yeah, he is cool. And the Guardians tank and, uh, you know, the last Guardians movie we loved. And it was mainly about Rocket. Now, here's the one that we kind of redid. And this, is, this was the initial tank on this. It's a 20 long and it has pothos growing out of it that we basically grow outside from one tiny little plant. 
and then it's just kind of sprawled down and it spreads into every one of these tanks and it makes it so that we really don't have to do water changes or much maintenance or anything. So we have little sponge filters or under gravel filters in all of these tanks that we've either made uh, DIY or just had around. And um, this whole tank, this whole setup is just basically tanks that have been either thrown away or people didn't want. And we just kind of up cycled them all into this wonderful rack in, in my office. The rack itself was even something that someone was throwing away. So just this whole entire thing is a DIY kind of upcycled kind of thing. What uh, Jack suggested is taking these roots and kind of putting them together. So we had some moss in here, if you look real closely, and we just took the moss and the roots and kind of just kind of linked them up. It wasn't really hard yeah, to do. Yeah, we just put them together so that we could see the lights better. And then, so it just looked kind of cool right there. Yeah, it opened up the bottom a little bit. And you could see these guys do kind of zip around in the bottom. Um, there are some auto synclists still in here. We do have a lot of mystery snails in here. There's a couple ram's horns, but mostly mystery snails. And we've got the little rock caverns for them in the corners. And of course we talked about the under gravel lights that we put. These are our uh, zodiac signs, right? This is you Aquarius. Yep. This is me over here with the uh, Sagittarius. And then this was an old bed post from Pamela's parents' house. And we thought it kind of looked like a phoenix or a dragon because it cracked. Cool. Yeah, we like the glass things that we can show right yeah. through. So we put a little tiny, cheap, color-changing bulb. We found on a clearance rack for like $2 for a beta tank underneath it. And uh, really cool. Really, really cool. So a little bit of a glare on this side, but kind of same thing over here. And this was just white sand. And we really don't do any maintenance to this tank at all. The snails kind of clean the filters off and just break things down further and further. So... Tiny little sponge filter on the back and a tiny little bubble and it just does its own thing and it's been hooked up. What are we going on with this tank? Like three years or three and a half years now? I'd say so, yeah. It was awesome. We had Cap in here. Uh, he was an awesome red, white, and blue beta that we named after Captain America. And then we had Wade in here. And now we have these guys. So onward and upward to these guys, as far as the tank and everything's doing great, the pothos is doing awesome. The moss is doing awesome. You can see the pothos even sprouts leaves underwater here. And sometimes they'll grow for a while, and if they do end up rotting, the snails just eat them. But there's one of these little guys right there, and you can see um, that they are the ones that have, like, the little spots on them. They are very shy still. They are very young. We got these guys really, really, really young. And from a, from a guy that basically bred them, and he um, gave them to us when they were only about two months old. And we've had them for about two months. They're only about four months old. And they haven't quite developed all of their color yet. Uh, they do still look a little bit yellow, but some of them are starting to turn blue. There's about a mix of 50-50 female to, to male. And once in a while, one of them will come up and go right above these, you know, lit up glass things. Let me see if I can zoom in on this guy here. Now you can see the unique, awesome part about these guys is they have these pectoral fins that are highlighted on the top. And so it looks like they have these crazy little like waving things by their heads, but it's really just the top of their pectoral fins. And again, if you want to see some amazing footage, these guys are hard to get because they're small and they're fast and they're skittish. We might try to get to do a feeding video where we put an actual light on top here temporarily to just light it up from the front more and just, you know, mount a camera or something like that. There are... Um, how many do we have? About 20 of them in here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, here's another one coming up here. Yeah, there you go. You can see him there. There's a lot of them. There's a lot, but they are pretty skittish. Let me see if I can zoom in on this guy. When they go by these lights, they're really cool. So they, they're they not the fork tail kind. The fork tail kind, if you look at the back uh, tail of this guy, would be black in the middle and more like forked. And they don't have that and they, they are starting to develop the spots on their fins and they are starting to turn a little bit blue. Some of them more than others. So they're really, really, really neat little dudes and they look awesome when they come up above these under gravel lights too. I mean, just fantastic. So we really like them. Go ahead and put a little food in there in top. Maybe that'll bring some of them out there. We just feed them like regular flakes and we just kind of you know, crunch them up because they're so small. 
it's kind of hard to see through the side of this, but let's see if I can get more toward the side of this one too. Jack's putting those in there. Like I said, we might mount a top light and do like a feeding video on these guys like we like to do after we talk about a tank. We usually do a feeding video on it. You can see this is all the way from the other side. These 20 longs are such cool tanks because they just get so much room to, to shoot through there. Yeah, we don't do anything in this tank. We literally don't clean it at all. We haven't for about three years. It just stays the same and does awesome. The snails keep it clean. The pothos removes the nitrates. Uh, we kind of top it off. If we're working on it and we have to take a little water out, we will. There you can see uh, the crack in that in that globe right there. And then that's why that reflects that image. We did a whole video on how we kind of did that not too long ago. But yeah, Jack just kind of crunches up a bunch of flakes and put them on the top. And you can see they'll go up. Now the females don't look quite as fancy and awesome as the males, as the, is the case with a lot of fish. But uh, they're still very beautiful. These autos, of course, oh, there goes one. You could see, see when they come like right over, I'm just gonna kind of keep it right here for a minute. When they come over top of these under gravel lights, man, the light hits them really neat. So these guys are gonna grow a little bit more. They can get up to about two inches and they're not even an inch yet. Um, and see those, see those fins, how cool are those fins on top? So this guy, you can see his spots on his fins coming out. We're gonna try to do some slow motion and stuff like that. And if we did get any, it'll be at the beginning of this video. <laughs> but we're probably gonna, like I said, do a total feeding video where we mount a light on top here temporarily. We don't really do that because we have the light in the room lights it up when I have it on, but it causes glare. So we just didn't put it on for the video. But these guys will live about three or four years or so. Uh, we don't have a heater in here because this is the pond room. So let me scan out a little bit. None of these tanks have heaters. Um, and the pond doesn't have a heater either, obviously, because, um, you know, we heat this room. It's facing south. It gets a lot of sun. It stays warm. And in the winter, we put space heaters in here because they don't really have to be like tropical, right? They don't have to be like, you know, 75 no. degrees. Yeah, it doesn't need to be a, a if you want them to, If you want them to breed, they do. But we're not sure. I mean... If we really want them to breed, maybe in another few months, we'll try to put a heater in there if it gets too cold this winter. But uh, yeah, we're, we're loving these guys, kind of watching them grow and develop their colors and fins. And if you get them, we really do recommend getting them as babies to see them grow, you know? So they really like kind of hiding up here in this moss and the roots of this pothos. But anyway, we got, we got some views there. And like I said, if we do some slow motion stuff, we'll put it at the beginning. But the, de the depths unknown and Daniel's video videos are fantastic if you want to see some really, really good footage, right, man? Yes. Those guys did a great job. Great, yeah. great job. Depth Sorry I forgot your name, man, but it was like Saturday afternoon. I had too much on my mind, I guess. Depths unknown does a good <laughs> job of uh, explaining fish and stuff. It's cool. Yeah, his video is fantastic. So check it out if you haven't. We'll put a link in the description. And we'll be doing updates on these guys. And like I said, we'll probably do a feeding video after this if we can figure out a way to light up the top a little more and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, after that, we're going to be working more on the tanks in the um, dining room and much more to come on the pond because we're going to be adding more guys to the pond, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to be taking out some of these kind of like plain comets that just didn't really develop much at all. The, they don't really have color or long tails or anything like that. We're trying to make it more of a koi pond. Yeah, so we're going to add more Shabunkin and Sarasa and just get some pretty guys in there since the turtles have getting kind of used to them and they're not messing with them or anything. So that'll all be coming up, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.